back on Fats YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Guys, today we're going to be making these amazing honey garlic chicken bites. <laughs> So first things first, I'm going to give you an ingredient breakdown. I have my salt and black pepper, my soy sauce, I have my honey and some freshly grated garlic. And I'm just going to start by adding a little bit of oil onto my boneless chicken thighs and we're gonna season it up straight away now i know you're probably wondering why am i not using lots of seasonings as i usually do but trust me on this one you don't want to over season this okay so i'm just adding my salt black pepper my garlic i'm putting a little bit of the soy sauce because we need to reserve some for later on okay and then i'm just gonna give this a good little mix after adding in my honey make sure to use about half of everything okay now just in case you're wondering the full ingredient list will be down below in the description box and bear in mind this only acts as a guide you can always use as much or as little as you like okay so once you've mixed it up make sure to cover it up with some clear up we're gonna pop that into the fridge for about half an hour or so just so it can marinate a little bit and then we're gonna get down to business So after about 30 minutes into my fridge, I decided that I was just going to chop this up. Bear in mind, I was just going to cook this whole and I thought, you know what, it would be so much better if I would have cut it into bite-sized pieces and this is what I did, okay? Now I've got my gorgeous pot from Little, and I'm just going in with about a tablespoon of oil, allow it to heat up well for about a minute on medium heat and then I'm just going to put all of my chicken pieces into the pot, okay? Now this takes anywhere from around 6 to 7 minutes to cook because it's small, it's boneless. I tend to give it about 3 to 4 minutes on both sides. Just make sure it's no longer pink and cooked through and I keep it on a medium heat because I don't want it to spring up too much liquid and then it gets too saucy. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. Once everything is nicely flipped, I just go around and just mix it up well, just ensure everything is nicely cooked. And in total, it must have taken me about 8 minutes to get it like that. So now it's time to be removed from the pot. As you can see, it's not too much liquid in the pot and I absolutely love that, okay? Just a little bit of oil is left in the pot and I just went ahead and just turned on my heat to the lowest because I just want to cool down my pot a little bit before I'm going to go in with my garlic and all the rest of my gorgeous sauce ingredients, okay? So make sure when you're removing the chicken pieces from the pot, Turn the heat down low just to cool down the pot a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks so amazing. So yes, my loves, I'm going in with my garlic. The remainder of the garlic that we had from earlier, I'm going in with my soy sauce. If you want this to be a bit more saucy than what I'm doing, guys, you can always just add more to your preference. Remember, it's a guide, okay? You can always add more to your preference, okay? I went ahead and just passed a little bit of water into the bowl because, you know, nothing now wastes, okay? <laughs> so about a tablespoon or two of water into the bowl that had the honey and soy sauce and I just added it to the pot. Heat was on low and I just allowed that to just simmer for at least two minutes because you don't want the garlic to burn. It's going to get bitter and it's not going to be flavorful, okay? So... Once it started to simmer a little bit and it was starting to look like that, you know it's time for the real thing, okay? I went ahead and just added in all of my chicken pieces to the pot and yes, my darlings, you can see 
how amazing you want to make sure to get all the juice from the plate mix it well into the sauce oh my goodness that looks so amazing guys if this is looking amazing make sure you thumbs up this video okay make sure you thumbs up that looks so so good So after all of my chicken pieces have been coated in the sauce, I'm just going to plate it up for you to see. I have some green seasoning rice over here and I'm only going to be putting three spoonfuls in my plate, okay? You can always just put as much or as little as you like, okay? And as soon as I put in my rice, I'm just going to go in with my tender stem broccoli. I tend to have a little bit of greens every single time I cook because it's just a nice way to incorporate some, you know, veggies and stuff into your diet. And now I'm just going to go in with the star of the show. Oh my goodness, so, so beautiful. And in case you're wondering, oh, where is the sauce? Bear in mind, this is green seasoning rice and it tastes perfectly fine on its own, okay? I actually have a recipe up for it already. You can always just check green seasoning rice Darian's kitchen and that will come up, okay? So I always just make sure to fill up the plate because you know we need to get some good shots. Guys, that just looks so, so beautiful. And there you have it, final plate. Listen, lunch was ready in about 30 minutes and it was like, what? Such an amazing dish. I really hope you enjoy this recipe. If you try it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, of course, at Terrian's Kitchen. It is a pleasure having you here and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.